when I was a child, I start from young age, eight year age, play squash. Nobody in Hollywood would ever dream of making a movie based on his life because nobody would believe it. The Detroit News one day said, of all the great athletes in the world, who do you think was the greatest athlete in your mind? And I said, well, the greatest athlete in the world, as far as I'm concerned, is Hashim Khan. And he said, Hashim who? Who's that? When you say Hashim Khan, it means squash. He was the first true legend of the game, I believe. A legend, an, an, an icon. If there's a name synonymous with squash, it has to be Khan, K-H-A-N. I think he has just got the gift. And I win the 1951, the British Open. He just tore through the, you know, the top players in the world. He brought the World Championship to Pakistan and put Pakistan on the map. I take him the greatest player of all time. Seven years, he went on the top of the world. Nobody had ever seen speed like this on the court. It brought speed, fitness, power to the game. He was just a, a superior athlete. He knows the math of squash. He knows the science of squash. He knows the art of squash. Hashim Khan is the greatest name in squash. He's also the founder of what's been called the Khan dynasty in the sport. His family dominated the game for over 30 years. He was the leader. He led the Khans for generations. This should be suicide, that's right. And to still be able to play at, at 94, extraordinary. He's like Yoda, like you ever seen Star Wars where Yoda sort of like hobbles out and then gets in the big lightsaber scene? That's my grandfather. Somebody who came from nothing and got everything. He, he's the American dream, you know, but it's he's sort of more of the Pakistani, British, American dream. From where Hashim came from and who he was, it, it changed who played squash, the standard of the play. Hashim revolutionized the game. He was the one that set the trend. I'm getting chills as I say this. He's the first person who really broke the barriers in squash. It just changed the potential for the growth of the game in lots of different countries and lots of different people getting the opportunity to play the game. It stems from what Hashim achieved. Keep iron ball, you will control the game, you will be following the ball in time, you will be in right place, right time if you watch that ball. He would say, where can ball hide? Ball must hit wall, must come off wall, I must go to fetch ball. You know, one of his favorite tricks was taking the racket and putting it upside down, you know, the, the handle coming up on the tin, it stand at the back of the if court. If you hit that ball right, you can hit between racket and wall. It's no problem. It look difficult, but it's not difficult. If you just hit that ball right. Squash came from, you know, much more of uh, an elite background, and yet Hashim Khan became the ultimate champion from the most humblest of beginnings. The area where he came from is really, really poor. We've come from a very, very small village in Peshawar, which is a, a part of Pakistan, which is just on the border of Afghanistan and Pakistan, the northwest frontier. Dad you know, came from a real tough environment, and you have to understand that. You know, the environment really shapes a person. And uh, the old ways, the old fashioned ways, as they say, the old country, you know, you know they were with him. You know, he couldn't shed those. Yeah, in Pakistan, like where my grandpa's from the Northwest, you know, Peshawar, all that, like, it's all tribal, like, re you know, everywhere. It's all about respect and like, you know, the fight, you know, it was like determinism. Like, he just, he was determined to do something and he did it. Hashim Khan, he's a Pashtun or Patan as I always call them, very, very tough people. We come from tribe Pashtun in our, or Pukhtun in our language, which, which means Patan. Um, a very strong, historically warrior race. Very humble, very good family morals, family values. 
They will literally give you the shirt off their backs. The main thing for them is to live with honor. If you respect a Pashtun, so he will give double respect in response. If you insult a Pashtun, so then uh, he is uh, he's a best friend <laughs> and, and, and the worst enemy also. The best friend and the worst enemy. I've always been in love with the Pashtuns because of their history of what they have gone through. There are so many invaders that have gone through there, but they're still kept to their traditions. And they've always been as individuals, always been fighters. He's a success story in every sense of the word. Hello, hello, how are you? I am good. Nice to see nice you. Nice to see you. Nice to see so you. So nice to see you. I'm very lucky to still get a good health in my age. To still people treat me very well. Are you still playing? No. How what? about you? Uh, I just fool around in double court. Uh -huh. Not run. <laughs> I, I choose partner. He's run for me. I see. I, I understand. <laughs> I can't get anyone to run for me. <laughs> who would ever thought like a boy who played barefoot as a ball boy would make it this far? That's really amazing to me. And you know something about Hashim? We're walking somewhere together, and we get to an entrance. You think for one minute that he would go ahead of me? No, I have to go ahead of him. He opens the door for me, and it's just a genteel step that I'm impressed with. Oh, I'll follow you. And I'll follow you. We go together. And I think what keeps him going to the squash club every other day is the game of squash. I like the game. <laughs> Just like the game. <laughs>